Alrighty, I have an awesome construction update for you guys today on Yukon Striker. But before I get started, this video is brought to you by me. <laughs> um, so if you want to help support Amusement Insiders and myself grow the channel even more, head on over to our Patreon account where you can subscribe to Amusement Insiders on Patreon for literally a dollar a month. One dollar a month where you get exclusive access to awesome videos and vlogs not seen on the YouTube channel. You'll get first-hand pictures of a construction update before it's posted. So for example, right now, the viewers have already seen for a whole day on Patreon what the construction site looks like before this video was posted today. So for $1 a month, head on over to our Patreon and help us out in any way possible. If you don't want to subscribe on Patreon for $1 a month, that's okay. We're launching our new merch as of now. So we have three new designs. We have a new basic design tee, which is more um, streamlined than the original one. And then we have two Giga Dive t-shirts that just launched to make fun of ourselves. What better way? But I'm going to shut up about self-promo and get right into the video. So as you can see here, the station is taking form. The roof is on. The roof is going up. Um, and it's definitely looking like it's going to have some sort of timber Canadian mine kind of look to it. Whatever they choose to go with, it's hard to tell yet. But again, I have seen metal paneling off into the side. So I'm assuming it's going to be metal paneling of some sort. But I can tell there's going to be some woodwork based off of the, um, the planking of the wood as you enter into and exit out of the station. Um, it's got some really cool designs. Um, on top of that, the trains have water dummies on them. Yes, you heard that. All three trains have water dummies on them. So Wonderland isn't kidding around. They are ready to test this coaster as soon as A, the weather is good. B, the control panel is installed. So yes, the ride is not going to test tomorrow when it's nice and warm out because there's no control panel in the station. There's no way to operate the ride. So unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Um, there is some weird object on the track. It looks like a B&M ball. Um, if you remember the Fury 325 video of them um, inspecting the track, they had this weird ball contraption that goes around the track. It looks like they have one of those. There's something sitting on the track that looks like it's um, directly on top of the track. It's not your um, clearance um, cart thing they send around. It's definitely a smaller object. So I'm assuming it's a B&M ball is what I call it. I don't think that's its official name. So if you know the official name, comment down below and help me out. Um, lots of digging and moving around dirt going on in Frontier Canada now, all in and around Yukon Straker. They're digging, moving around dirt. I could not begin to predict what's going on. All I'm seeing now, and what's interesting, is it looks like there's going to be a lot of paths going in and out. It looks like they may actually have a path go under the um, zero-G roll and kind of circle around the other side of the second tunnel in uh, quotations, because I don't know if it's going to be a tunnel, and they'll meet again. Over there, I'm not too sure. It also looks like there may be a path that goes underneath Timberwolf's kind of like turn at the top of the drop. I can't confirm that yet, but it looks like they've definitely cleared some nice tree line there and they're digging in that area. So that's just a guess. Again, I don't actually know in terms of path work what it's going to look like, but we're down to like a month and 27 days until the park opens. So we should start to see things forming um, very quickly. Um, and to take that even further, Orbiter is now fully demolished and being turned into a pathway. So you're going to have a more streamlined path all the way from Behemoth all the way over to Yukon Striker. You all saw the other day that Canada's Wonderland released the entrance sign for Yukon Striker, and it's going to be a massive water tower. I'm assuming the water tower is going to stretch over the entrance, and you're going to walk underneath it, and maybe it'll pour out water out the side of it into like a man-made river that flows. Um, kind of like to simulate Yukon. So it's going to look awesome. Again, for those of you that haven't kept up with all my videos, you have three trains on the track. They now have water dummies in it. The station is taking form. The roof is on, um, or I should say the wood paneling or structure for the roof is on. Um, and they'll work their way in. And there's definitely some weird activity that's um, taking place in various parts of the park. So you have a new dumping site um, for it looks like concrete and dirt right there next to Mindbuster's turn. There's a new electrical box in um, <laughs> Stunt Coaster's uh, exit. I don't know why I always struggle with Stunt Coaster's name. I can never get it right. I, I guess it's because I don't ride it. Um, it's called Backlot. Um, so Backlot Stunt Coaster's exit has the electrical box that's now there. So we now know what that is. Um, here's a zoomed in picture for you. 
Um, very weird place to put an electrical box. I felt like there were maybe other areas, but we know Backlot probably has a huge electrical station as its own little power source. So maybe there's a lot of uh, potential for a grid there and it's easier to hook up there. So um, yeah, there's a power grid there. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I missed. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> there's just so much going on. Orbiter's gone. It's now being turned into a pathway. The structure for the station's up. All three trains have water dummies in it. Frontier Canada is just moving and digging up dirt from what I can see. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of new paths in Frontier Canada. I don't have any confirmation of any new buildings. I'm getting that question a lot. Um, so as soon as I find out information, I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for a construction update today. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.